When I grow up, I want to be a fashion designer, mm, a football player. I want to be a game show host. Probably a CFO of a major golf company. I want to be a director. I want to be the president of my grandpa's company. I knew that when I came here, parents really wanted their children to grow. There was a need for growth, and um, they were willing to listen and to buy into what we were proposing. And we knew that we had to think about the future and to dream big. It needs to be implemented everywhere, and will be implemented everywhere, but it needs to be implemented intelligently and with planning, and not as a substitute for all the other traditional methods of education, but as a complement to, to everything else. I think there was a lot of concerns it was, um, over you know, what the kids would have access to and, and what they'd be able to do with technology and the program we set up through Beyond Technology allowed us to do that. We have certain learning expectations for our students and one of them is to be a lifelong learner and part of that, one of the attributes of that is to use technology for learning, for communication and for enjoyment and I want them to do that but I also want them to be filled with really the proper values when they go out into the world, when they go into high school, to use um, technology responsibly. We believe in planning, so we put together a professional development timeline for her staff, starting with an assessment to make sure we knew what they knew about technology, what they didn't know about technology, developed an individual learning plan for each teacher to make sure they all had the basic uh, uh, integration skills to use technology in their classroom. One of the things that we're very proud of is we developed the SWIM grid. Uh, which is a technology planning and implementation model that helps schools organize their thoughts when it comes to technology integration. And there's five parts of the SWIM grid. The first part is uh, working with staff, making sure teachers have the three C's, confidence, competence, content, uh, that they're assessed, they're trained, and they're supported. A big part, an important part of the whole plan. The second major component of SWIM grid is working with students, making sure they have a, a solid foundation of basic skills as they go forward in their technology uh, learning. The third component is working with curriculum and making sure that teachers aren't playing games or downloading worksheets, but truly using technology as a problem-solving tool within their standards-based curriculum. The fourth uh, component of the SWIM grid is the technology environment, making sure the infrastructure is in place. Uh, the wireless infrastructure is up to speed, the networking, the policies, and then of course the devices the students are gonna be using are in place, and there's an IT solution, and there's a, a, a rotation solution in place. And then the fifth major component is the project management and assessment part of the plan. First of all, Beyond Technology came to us with a very detailed program it was a, over a three-year period that laid out exactly how the technology should be rolled out as far as the hardware at the school, but how the training of the teachers and implementing the technology into their lessons plans, rather than just kind of seeing where technology would take us, it was um, a, a good roadmap to follow. And the students are more excited about learning, about doing research, and one little girl said to me the other day, I'm more organized on my computer than my bedroom is organized. These students now can think beyond. They can use analytical skills. We're teaching now in 6th and 7th grade English what I learned in 10th and 11th grade English. Their STAR testing results show that in, they've really increased in their reading ability. And of course now with the Common Core, they're it's supposed to be more informational type of text that they're going to be getting into. So we want them to enjoy reading, but also to get into the research. The technology here at St. Joachim's, it's just helped me learn. I think it's improved my writing a little bit. Just having it helped me get a lot more organized. The world is evolving so quickly in its use of technology that I think 
If we didn't have all this stuff at our school, I think I would feel like a step behind everybody.